up everybody, Ender Girl here, and I saw my cousin's video of her looking through her old art, so I'm kind of stealing her idea. Um, so, just let me move this aside. I did take some of it out, because some of it had, like, stuff that was more personal on it, or, like, draw a bunch of drawings of, like, my friends and my ex-boyfriend, and just, like, a bunch of stuff like that that I didn't feel like sharing with the internet today. And, um, this stuff is, I believe, all 2016 and earlier. So it's pretty old, but it's not that old. Um, but if you really want to see the old stuff, I actually have a pile of sketchbooks in my room. From newest to oldest. Or at least close enough to, from newest to oldest. Uh, sorry, my room is a mess. Um... But yeah, all these, and this one, I know will be in a video at some point in the future, because I saw something in here that I was like, ooh, I need to make a video about. There's also stuff in here, of the very, one of the very first times I ever drew blue, so that's pretty old. Um, but yeah, and there'll be stuff about blue in this video too, because I've had blue since, again, one of my first, o one of, if not the first OC I ever had. So, hundreds of drawings of her, is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, so let's get started. So the first drawing is one that a lot of people have probably seen before because I put it up on Undertale, you know. Yep, this is my old art from 2016-ish. Uh, yee. There's only one that's dated, um, and it's a bad one, but I know these are all from that time period, and that time period was 2016, so... Yeah, this is 2016's artwork. This is from the same time where I just got really into drawing with crazy art markers and just um, was constantly drawing with those. And I did a bunch of big full color pieces like this and this and this, which has my name on it. But I'm covering it up so you can't see. Mwahaha. No, you cannot stalk me, internet. <laughs> but yeah, that's the one that has 2016 on the date. And if I recall correctly, this was an attempt to redesign Flair for the unteenth time. So Flair is my character. But I've had a lot of trouble with... Actually, I can show you her current redesign. It's on my wall. You see that? That's Flair now. Okay, well. This is apparently an older design of Flair. I can just kind of tell. Uh, mainly by the heart shapes, although she wasn't normally associated with hearts. I can just kind of look at this and be like, yeah, that was probably one of Flair's old designs. Because Flair used to have like a big ponytail on the back and like a big, or like a big side braid. She had. Basically the exact same hair as the main character, but she was all orange, and I figured that differenti differentiated them enough. But it still bothered me that she had different hair, so I made her hair poofier, but that didn't really help either. So I ended up just giving her pigtails, and I feel like that really, that really helped, like, a lot when I redesigned them the most recently. I was also worried because two of my characters, Coral and Star, also have the same color palette, which is all blue. With, oh, Star has some yellow highlights, and again, they're on my wall. Yeah, I was worried that these two were too similar, so I tried to fix that as best I could by making them pretty different, but I don't know if you can really tell that they're two different characters. Mm. Anyway, back to the actual art we're looking at. Here is... A maid girl, I guess. Um, she's really cute, actually. I remember distinctly remember having some trouble with the marker, but I also distinctly remember liking this one still. Oh, and then here's this. I remember making this because it's when I went to, to go get my back x-rayed. Because of, eh. That's name stuff. Wait a moment, let me show you. Is it name stuff? Yeah, that's name stuff. Um... So, basically, 
in Blue, one of Blue's first stories, a lot of the time, Blue had either friends or a sidekick during some of her first stories. Most of the time now, she just goes solo. She has friends still, and, like, there are a lot of the same characters that she was friends with during the first, like, big revamp of her story where she wasn't just solo. Um, but this was, in this story, this was her sidekick. And her sidekick was themed off my little sister, Cat and Candy Girl. And the villain of the story was actually my other little sister, who doesn't have a YouTube name, but she has a YouTube channel. Um, and she was like an evil, to uh, like a toddler-sized evil scientist. That was a really weird story, and it makes no sense. But yeah, this is Blue, and then this is Tiger Girl, which is the name of Biggie. So there it is. A kind gay girl in his story is kind of dumb, but I kind of still love it because it's, it's part of her history. Next one, we have this one, which is another one of the big full Copic drawing. Or, er, Copic. One Copic. I, not Copic artist. Um, one another big crazy art drawing. Um, here is The Sands. Hey, they put me in Smash Bros. Yeah, I know. Sakurai, what are you on? Okay, um. Yeah. Neep. <laughs> Here is Ballora from Sister Location. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Sister Location is probably my favorite game in the entire series. Just because of how much it scared me. Like, a lot of the other games creep me out. But, like, it never really stuck with me and gave me nightmares. Um, straight up, this game gave me horrible nightmares for, like, a week. And that was not fun. And so, because of that, I have a huge amount of respect for it. And this is Circus Baby, because I drew Ballora. <laughs> This one might actually be a little newer, because this was my series that I wanted to make an Ask the Dreamers blog, um, like my Ask the Pie, Ask Slash Dare Pie team. Ask the Dreamers was going to be about Frisk, Chara, Asriel, who was still all flowey. So, like, what had happened was Frisk gave up half her soul to Chara, and right now Flowey is, um... They're, like, doing experiments on Flowey to see if they can make a fake soul to give to him to bring him back as Azrael. That was what was happening in the story. It was after a pacifist run. Hello, I'm Frisk. Me and the other dreamers, aka Chara, Flowey, Toriel, Asgore, and myself, will be answering questions. If you have a question for one of our, my friends, like Sans or Metaton, I will bring it to them. Just leave a comment below. Smiley face! And then this was... This was going to be the first post. And I remade this one a few times. This, like, drawing. But I think this is the first one because I think the second or so have all the... The second one has all the dreamers or something. And the third one was done digitally on a notepad app, so I couldn't post it. And, yeah, that was an idea I had, but it never carried through with. This one is older, like, way older, as are some of the next few. This is a scientist zombie from Plants vs. Zombies. Those hands are awful. <laughs> that hand is very obviously background backwards, because fingernails, because that is not how hands work, and that is also not how hands work. Um... Here, I got a how to draw anime book, because I did those things too, and yeah, I missed my friends that day, and I wrote, I miss you on it, because I was lonely. Now these, these are the weird ones. So I had characters who were all cat people. Like, they were cats, or like, they were cats who had been given a magical metal thing that temporarily turned them all into humans, but they slowly started transforming back. But by that time, they had started transforming back, and, you know, obviously, like, their husbands or wives or whatever that were human panicked and 
ran off because for whatever reason the cats wanted to live their lives as humans. I genuinely don't know why. And I don't remember. And then this was a character who was named... I want to say Katrina or Catra. Claudia. Claudia! That was her. She was Claudia. Um, Claudia was... Um, basically her really rich dad and her mom, who was a cat, when she was given birth to, her, her dad basically took her and ran off and hid away and they got, and now they're like sassy business people. And she's kind of the main villain, but not really, because her and like the main protagonist lady, who was named Fluffin of all names, were, were like best friends but also kind of like rivals and I remember she saved other girl or no Fluffin saved her from drowning once and then here's the other character which was Muffin uh my name's in the corner of that Muffin was um her mom or who was a cat ran a pizza place and she was a waitress, and she delivered pizza during her time she wasn't at school, because they were all, like, middle schoolers. Um, and they were, like, half-cat, half-human people, which was weird. So, like, they would start slowly turning into cats, but after a while, I guess the transformation would stop, because they'd stay something close to, like, this, where they'd have cat features, like fur, and cat ears, and cat paws and claws and stuff, but they would, um, they would have normal hair. What I'm saying is I used to draw furries. That's, that's basically what the entire story was, was putting logic behind the idea of just drawing a bunch of furries. Uh, <laughs> but that's all the art I grabbed, so, um, if you like this, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone!